I know too many of you today in this room, they are wondering that how did I get here? And even myself, I'm wondering, how did I come here? <laughs> uh, it's such a... I'm far away from Manus, thousand kilometers away, far from Manus, but my thoughts are still on Manus. When I came to... When I came to Australia, I was 20 years old. Very, you know, young man, energetic, and has so much to share and to offer. But unfortunately, I found myself locked up in one of the democratic countries, one of the Western countries that believe in democracy and injustice. I find myself locked like an animal in the cage. Not that easy to be incarcerated in a place where all the fingers pointed at you as a criminal. And all the words that you hear from people surrounding you that you have made a mistake. Why do you come to this country? And you deserve to be in detention center. They send us to PNG. We can't stay in PNG because it's not safe and we have no right to stay. And we can't go to another country because Australia won't allow us. And we can we can we can come to Australia because we will more to the politician in Australia. So when you stay in Manus, you work more for the politician in Australia. I have been put in a cage for about six years. But that cage, instead of making me weak, the cage makes me so strong. The cage even gave me, I mean, a chance to meet people, beautiful people like you, to meet the right people, the people who are always fighting day and night for the rights of the others. And it's not a, such an easy path. And I'm only going to be here for two weeks, and I'm still going to go back to Manus. And people are waiting for me. People are believing that they are watching very close. They are waiting for me to share this award with them. And to let them know that the international community acknowledge our existence, our resilience, our struggle. And most importantly, it's going to be a historical moment for us. Thank you very much once again. Thank you very much.